Welcome to Serbian Language Podcast. In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself. You'll be happy to know that for simple sentences, Serbian grammar is similar to English grammar. It follows the rule subject plus predicate, and the predicate is the verb plus noun. Let's look at an example in English to start. I am Steven. In this example, I is the subject, M is the verb, and Steven is the noun. Well, guess what? In Serbian, the order for simple sentences is the same. Here is how you would say I am Steven in Serbian. Ja sam Steven. Can you guess what ja means? It means I. And this takes us into personal pronouns, which is a great place to start. Let's learn. I will say the word in Serbian, followed by the translation in English. I will briefly pause after saying the Serbian word so that you can try to say it after me. Pay close attention to my pronunciation and try to mimic the sounds that I produce. But don't get stressed out in the beginning. It takes time to form some of the sounds of the Serbian language. But with the time and practice, rest assured it will come. Let's begin. Ja. I or me. Ti. You. On. He. Ona. She. Ono. It. Me. Us or we. Vi. You. Polite or you plural, as in you all. A more detailed explanation about the personal pronoun V will come in future lessons. For now, know that it means you, polite, as when you are speaking to an elder, or you, plural, when referencing several people. Let's continue with the remaining personal pronouns. Oni. They or them. Masculine. Before we go any further, I just want to give you the heads up. Serbian language has three genders. Masculine, feminine, and neuter. This means that there are three ways to say the word they. In English, they refers to everyone. But in Serbian, they is more specific. It refers to gender of those in the group. If you are talking about three guys, you would say oni, because their gender is masculine. If you are talking about three girls, you would say one, because their gender is feminine. If you are talking about one guy and two girls, you would say oni, because if there is one guy present in the group, the gender is always masculine. If you are talking about three children, you would say ona, because in Serbian, the word child is neutral. In future videos, we will explain the role the genders play in the Serbian language and how they influence other aspects of Serbian grammar. But for now, just know that they exist. Now we have covered all of the personal pronouns. How do you say he in Serbian? On. How do you say I or me in Serbian? Ja. How do you say we? Mi. This takes us back to our sample sentence. Ja sam Steven. But I know what you are thinking. What does the word sam means? Well, sam means am. And it comes from the verb biti, which means to be. So, in order to understand where sam comes from, we have to conjugate the verb biti, which means to be. This is one of the most important verbs in Serbian, so learning it now will help a lot. The good news is you have learned the pronouns ja, ti, on, etc. So you are already halfway there. Here is how you conjugate the verb biti. Ja sam. I am. Ti si. You are. On je. He's. Ona je. She's. 
ono je. It is. Mi smo. We are. Vi ste. You are polite or you are plural. Oni su. They are masculine. One su. They are feminine. Ona su. They are neuter. That's it. You did it. But before we conclude the lesson, I want to teach you one more word that will help you out even further. The word is so simple. It's E. Any idea what E means in Serbian? It means end. So now you can say me and you. How do you say it? Ja i ti. Remember, in Serbian, ja means I or me. Now let's practice all that we have learned today. How do you say I am Steven in Serbian? Ja sam Steven. How do you say he is Steven? On je Steven. Here's a harder one. How do you say us and them, masculine? Mi i oni. Great job this lesson! And remember to review the PDF guide for additional explanations, vocabulary, and other instructional resources. The PDF guide is an instrumental part of your language journey, so please take the time to review it. Vidimo se!